My spring porch makeover is complete. Now it's time for the reveal. Keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions so there's less chaos in their homes, they lead healthier lives, and they feel beautiful from the inside out. And today I am showing off my spring porch. I finally got it done. It's taken me a couple of weeks. I had to do some refurbishing. I had to touch up some paint. I had to let it warm up enough so I could get everything out. And then I had to get my pots planted up. So now I am ready to show it off. I want to show off my what I call my better homes and garden porch. So let's take a look. I include this front walkway as part of my porch just because as you walk up it leads you right there so I feel like I've got to have something as pleasing right out front as I do on the porch. So you make your way up the walkway and you pass those pansies and that little container there and then you come to the actual entrance to the porch itself. And on either side flanking the porch, you see two container gardens and a hanging planter. To the right, you see a couple of pots of pinks. The other thing that's front and center in this little corner pocket is my rockin' cardinal. My husband got me that for Mother's Day, but look how sweet he is. He just rocks in the wind. The other thing you see hanging from my porch is that little wind chime and it's got a peace sign on it and I say it rings in harmony into our home and it's actually called the bells of harmony wind chime. I got that for my husband last year for I think his birthday or for Father's Day. He loves wind chimes so we always have a few around our home. And you can see that hanging planter there. The water hose just sits in that little container there. So it's somewhat unobtrusive. So here's my cozy little corner that I did in our preliminary porch makeover. You see that all the faux flowers have been removed except for one. So I've got a set of Gerbera daisies right there at the bottom and then some pink geraniums at the top. And then right there is a pot of oregano. And that was just a perfect spot for it. It wasn't doing very well in the house, so I brought it out. And it's loving that space right there. It's very happy there. And this little corner is right as you walk up on the porch. And I've got a new turtle there, you can see. My husband got me that turtle for Mother's Day as well. So now I've got two turtles. So this is certainly a bright corner. And then as you come onto the porch, you see my other planters that I put in place. I just watered recently, so that's why there's a puddle of water on the porch floor. But now you can see the rest of the porch. And you can see how I've got things put in place. I got my bistro chairs out for that little corner table, and then I've got that pot there on the top of the table, which is just gorgeous. And then as we move to the right, there's another little gray pot up top those containers or those little crates that I've set out. And then on the table is just another little bird feeder planter combination that I've had for years. But I'll show you what I've got in it. I put that little nine bark in it. I'm trying to root that and it's doing quite nicely. And I thought that'd be a good place for it for right now. And then there are three chairs. And really, three is just enough for us. We sit out and we read the newspaper, we drink lemonade, we might just sit and watch people go by, talk to the neighbors, listen to the radio, whatever. Um, but we don't necessarily lounge on the porch, so this furniture is just perfect for how we use it. I do have some pillows that I will put on those chairs when it gets warmer, but right now it's just way too wet and still way too windy to put anything like that out here. Now here you see the three little pots that I put atop the crate with my um, Mary Engelbrecht teapot at the bottom and a little birdhouse. And they're just little begonias that are in those pots. I got them on sale for a dollar at Lowe's. So if they don't do very well in those pots, it's okay. But begonias are pretty hardy and they should perk up quite nicely. 
and I, I just like having things like three in a row like that so I just thought that added to what I needed for that corner and here you see the pair of crates and then we come on around and then here is my last really big planter isn't that gorgeous and it's going to do quite nicely right there And then those two little bistro chairs, I recovered them last year, but I'm thinking I might want to do it again because the colors have faded just a little bit from being out in the sun. So we'll see what happens. I hope you enjoyed my porch reveal. So now here's a question for you. Which part of this porch makeover did you enjoy the most? Tell me about it in the comments section below. And just so you know, I've raised three children, I've managed a home for more than 45 years, and I'm a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking, cleaning, laundry, planning, and health and beauty, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a part of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.